All right, guys, welcome back to Nuston Farm. This is part four. Part four, yes, because we get to play with da 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 the quad track. Ha ha. Our owners. It's even the kids happy. Right, our owners had to do just field one. It's only a little field, but we have the power. <laughs> oh yes. Oh, there we go. Listen to the beef. Well, this isn't actually the beef. That was a John Deere, but oh well. Look at the size of it. Oh, same wheels up. Come on. There we go. Oh, yes, please. It's a 620. 500 brake? Give or take? Let's find out. 692. Wow, I was well off. <laughs> Come on. Nothing can stop us now. We've got tracks. Six, well, nearly 700 ponies. <laughs> I'm going to chew it all. Uh, size of the machine. Look how small the mirrors are. Oh, they're so cute. Absolutely fucking useless. <laughs> oh dear, it's like trying to enjoy a sunset through the eye of a needle. Oh, plus. Right. Yeah, even the camera model with real terrain is perfectly happy in this. It's that big. Right, where to begin? Where to begin? Please tell me I have GPS. Ha! Ha ha! Someone's smiling down. I think this map has multi terrain angles, so. We need to get this right. Oh, it's gonna bite us in the ass. I don't even know how big the implement is. It's big. 10 metres? Could be a 10 metres. 10 metres. So yeah, we're too far over. Way too far over. Right, let's go again. Try from here. Here looks good. Oh, I forgot about the bend. What do you reckon? I think that does it. But we are going to need the auto width 10.3. Oh, give me 10. I can live with 10. An offset? You're killing me. I'll give you an offset. Right. We're looking good, guys. I've lost the child. She's legged it. Oh well. Worst things happen at sea not like she can get out assuming her mother locked the door if I see her running past the window I'm gonna have to go sharpish <laughs> right let's get this underway oh yes we have the power 12 mile an hour it's not even phased is it not even phased at all it just munches it yeah, we're going to have some serious overlap on that, but... Eh, we've had worse. The problem is going to be the corner and me doing it. Right then, go up. Jesus. Yeah, well done there. What was it? 12, wasn't it? We'll knock it out of 10 because that's just ridiculous. I totally lost it then. Thanks a lot of lower. But oh, hit the button. There we go. Alright, see if we can get some control over this. There's the whole point of having the little dial thing so I can dial it around. It works well, but you've got to pay attention. 
Uh, just lift the cultivator and jump straight up to full revs. Oops. <laughs> Bugger. Yeah, that'll do us. Oh, that first one's bad. Real bad. Alright then. Wop around. Back onto the lock. Hit the go button. We're going to end up with a serious head on that end. But, we'll be fine. I hope. Our yeah, colour bit is getting dirty pretty quick, isn't it? You see it on those wheels already. But that's realistic. As soon as you stick it in the ground, it's going to be covered in crap. Quadraster looks good though. Tracks? Yeah, they should probably be dusty by now. Right then. Oh, we're still at 8 mile an hour. 8's good actually. I like 8. 8 works for me. Come on, get around. Bouncing with real terrain. Are the tracks? A little bit, but not much. Look, I wonder what it's like in cab. Yeah, perfect. Absolutely perfect. <laughs> oh, I've got it. I had red leather seats. I have to go for a close up on them. Oh, quad track. <laughs> you can get away with a quad track on Oldfield Farm. <laughs> We'll get rid of the T4, it's no good. <laughs> get rid of the T4 and get a quad track. Or a T9. Bugger it, let's live life on the edge. Go big or go home. <laughs> Alright, let's have a look at these seats. Oh, nice. From what you can see, we're in serious darkness here. Might have to have a better look when we come back around with the sun in our eyes. Somebody actually mentioned uh, doing a script for a temperature gauge. Long, well, pretty much when 15 came out, I think. It wasn't long after. It seems like that. But uh, so been messing around with the arm stuff, uh, rebuilding that new Holland, uh, checking out all the other mods and that to compare and get the in-cab stuff working. There is already. Well, there's not the animation for it. But there's the parts there for it, if that makes sense. That's not good. Uh, like you have the needles and stuff, they're all ready to be animated. It's just curious. It seems like giants were thinking of putting a temperature gauge in. Or maybe they still are. Just haven't got around to it yet. Who knows? Well, I've been dreaming about it awesome damage mod to do but we'll wait and see the original damage one might come out anyway uh, top of my head I've no idea who did it but with the script documentation out now I imagine if they're going to do it or if they plan on doing it they'll be able to do it so we'll see it's one of those things where time will tell Knock the GPS off, lift the cultivator, turn around. Yeah, that headland's a mess. Ugh. Couldn't have done a worse job if I tried. <laughs> yeah, cultivator's gone black bright look. Quad track, still spotless. Things made of Teflon, shit don't stick. <laughs> but it is a beast. Wow. Uh, 
I know there's a picture on the OEB topic on FS UK where they actually broke a quad track, split it in two. It's God knows how. I wasn't a member of the team at the time, but yeah. Quad tracks have not been the favourite tyres ever since. So we can get a better look at these seats now. No, nope, still in darkness. Oh, well. be like that. I wonder if that chain at the bottom has been put on there to stop uh, that part moving away from that part. Yeah, I think one half of it was stuck one side of a road, the other, the front of it was stuck the other side. The game didn't crash, and the tractor would snap back together when you moved it, I believe. But it was completely split. Oops. <laughs> trying to figure out if it's a drive shaft or hydraulics. Presume it'd be a drive shaft, but you never know. You'd expect that middle part there to spin, but it looks more like a an old serial port connection for a computer rather than a drive shaft. Universal joint kind of thing, but I say it may be a big hydraulic line, and the drive is actually hydraulics rather than shafts. I don't know. I've never been up close to a quad track, but you'd expect it to spin otherwise. And giants do have the drive shaft scripts on some of their vehicles, so if it was a drive shaft, I imagine it would spin. Uh, take out the telehandler. Take out. Check out. I think everything spins on that, it's awesome. In game lever. Did that? No. Yes, it did. Those steps moved when we turned. I'm sure of it. Interesting. That would explain that red bar over there then. It goes through there. Make sure the steps are always out of the way. Yeah, uh, true, like if you did turn and that metal grabbed hold of that rubber track, it would make a mess. I don't fancy the track's chances. Oh, the price of putting a new one on. Damn. That wouldn't be pleasant. Yeah, look, the steps have moved. Cool. <laughs> Little things. <laughs> well, in our next episode, we will be selling a little bit of the crop and then making our way home, guys. The end is nigh, so to speak. Our uh, contracting adventures on Nuston are over. Uh, when we get back, we have potatoes to deal with. Uh, finally, get some winter crop in the ground. The first year on Oldfield Farm has been a success. As expected, with the uh, land we've got, we've made bugger all money. <laughs> but that's what I was expecting. The game's set up like that. Yeah, we're not getting a load more fields. We're not going to make a fortune. But that's just the way it is. I think we'll just about get this field finished. In good time. So yeah, uh, he's got a truck somewhere around here. Uh, so we'll go grab the truck, take a few things out of the cell point. Uh, possibly only one cell point? I don't know. One way to find out, but not when you're about to drive into a hedge. Oh, wrong button. You. Nuston Foods. Mahul.
doesn't sell anything. So where is Nuston Foods? Ah, there we go. Yeah, that's easy then. Take a couple of those down there for him. Happy days. Just got to find where he's put the truck. <laughs> That'd help. <laughs> I presume it's kicking about here somewhere. But yeah, episode 5 is probably going to be fairly short, guys. Well, part 5. So we're just running a couple of loads and getting the hell out of Dodge. Head for home, see the wife, the kid, the farm. And get back to it. As much as it is nice to have a break, I always end up missing the place. I did it with Old Ridge as well. Where did we go? I think it was Woodside Farm I went contracting on. I miss home. I'm not one for adventures. I like my own stuff. And just being at home, I could quite happily be at home every day. Oh, I paid for the place. Why the hell not? <laughs> Size of the thing. But it's taller than it is wide. <laughs> uh, me and the steering wheel are good friends at the minute. Very good friends. It's behaving itself. And since that putting those spaces in, so the uh, that's kind of a stop bar that slides around as you turn the wheel. And it gets to the end, and then a big lump that's actually on the wheel shaft itself locks against it. Yeah, that was getting pinched with the mods that I'd done. But spaces, freed it up. Beautiful. I've not even belt drived it. I don't think I'm going to bother either. Unless it upsets me. But I'm quite happy at the minute. It's a shed load quieter than it was. Anybody who's watched the episodes, it did sound like an angry cat. Not good. Not good for recording. Not good for using it late at night when everyone's trying to sleep. I kept getting dirty looks off the wife when she was just watching TV. <laughs> <laughs> I can't imagine the dog would have been very impressed if he heard it going off at sort of 2 a.m. when he was half asleep, woke up thinking there's a cat in the place. God help him. <laughs> He'd have gone nuts, the wife would have gone nuts at him. Then they'd have both realised it was me. God help me. <laughs> anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this little mini series. It's a nice map. I, th I reckon this is definitely a good MP map. You can get a lot of people on here and just plough into it. But unless you're really into your big stuff, uh, it's not so much fun for single player. And that's what I should have been doing, just so I can get the one pass when I'm done. Oh well. We'll have to do at least two. Minor problem. Because this is the uh, deep tillage cultivator. This goes down to the ground. Is there any dirt on this yet? Oh, we have a little bit of crap coming on the tracks. There we go. Let's get in there. It begins. I mean, you reckon, is that one pass or two at that edge? Hmm. I'm going to say one, but it's going to be close. Especially in certain spots. So. Kill GPS. And let's go freehand. As long as we get it all, it's good. But you got to remember where the bend is. When you turn, well, it's not so bad when you're moving. It's when you're stood. The arse end wiggles. 
so you can use it too well, it can be used uh, sometimes it works against you sometimes it works for you yeah that is a tiny 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 gap up this side and a full size one up the other side genius is it taking up the grass? no still can't cut the grass then or is that? oh no that is isn't it? but is that because it's on the field? I think it could be stick the cultivator right in there and have a good look no 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 that is actually cultivating the grass okay then Mr. Pretorius good effort sir wish I could figure it out it's got to be one of the settings that you're painting but I don't know which one hmm I screwed this up. No. Ha <laughs> oh. ha. Bugger it, it'll be fine. By the time that gets spotted, well, they've already been paid and gone home. <laughs> Same with that bit. We're going to try and finish on this corner here. So, early up. Oh, bugger it, stick it down again. Should probably be trying to finish here, but, nah. This corner is going to be a little shit. But we can do it. I have a plan. It's a lot easier to reverse uh, the bendy trailers with an articulated tractor. I'll give them that. I've got this one as well, haven't I? Oh, that is too cruel. That way, it's, it's come the wrong way around right now. So you're going to dig in? Tease me like this. There we go. Get around there. Into that lot. That's poor effort, so we're going to have to do that bit again. Oh, you'll notice as well, the tyre marks are working now. With real terrain. We got this. So they're not surviving the cultivator's wrath, but really nice blending of the textures there. Really nice. That's come along really well. Going from the soil, but it's the dirt texture there. That's the actual field. You can see the difference. Field, dirt painted, grass painted. It's a lovely blend. Yeah, he's done that well. That's nice. It's nicer than mine. Hmm. And we have to rethink Oldfield Farm there. Or he's got his field textures that near enough match that dirt texture. I think mine's uh, quite a difference. I think. I'll have to double check. Right, there we go. Uh, 
let's get it into that corner and we're nearly done guys it's the last field work we'll be doing oh you are <laughs> well played well played Got it. <laughs> Find out just how much gaps on this far edge then now then. Or is it southeast? We win or lose with the southeast edge. And then I'm gonna have to really go and find the kid. She's been gone too long. She took the dog with her as well. God knows what madness they'll be up to. There's been no bangs, no screams, no loud noises. So she's not broke anything and she's not hurt herself. A kid learning how to open and close doors is never a good thing. The worst thing is when we have a window open in the living room and then in the kitchen as well because you get that draft going through your house. Um, it's perfectly fine until you get to the closing the door part and then it just when it shuts it grabs it uh, she gets her little fingers in that door when it does that ow poor kids but as children do they don't listen I always think we know better at that age well we're wrong <laughs> It's weird, when you have your own kids you realise just how much you start acting like your own parents. <laughs> you always think I'll never be like that. And then when you're telling them off and trying to teach them you just think, oh my god. <laughs> but anyway, that is our field work done, we've done our bits. His uh, usual workforce will sort the rest out. See, they still haven't got the bales auto loaded yet. Ha ha, how's it done? No thanks to giants. Yeah, you'll notice at the end of the last video there was not an extra little clip explaining how to fix that. I took every mod out of the mod folder and it still did it. It's a giant's problem. I'm pretty sure it's patch 1.3 because it. I don't recall the bales being douchebags in 1.2. But it is what it is. It's a shame. However, I will uh, try my best to avoid playing with bales. Because I play this game for fun. And having bales jump around all over the place is not bloody fun. It's annoying. So yeah, bailing screwed again. Yeah. Alright then. Uh I've no idea where the chuck is, he's gonna have to let me know. Alright then guys, we'll catch you on part well for part five. Uh we will take a couple of loads and then we will depart the area. Head for home. So I'll catch you then guys. Thanks very much for watching. Laters.